live event has been confirmed from the return of Lost Reality Cube Queen to the cat is coming back. Here are 25 updates coming up in season four. Please subscribe and use code SMJM. A bunch of these henchmen has been moving around the Fortnite map, but every time they get to this spot right here, they are looking out into the ocean and it looks like they are waiting for someone or something. Now I know exactly who they're waiting for and I will tell you about that in just a little bit. A chapter one location is coming very soon because Fortnite has done a collaboration with Polo bringing a bunch of these skins. But if you look in the background, you can see this is a familiar location that we know from chapter one. Yes, this location is Frosty Flight. Now, this location came with aeroplanes. And we all know that aeroplanes were supposed to be in the game right now, but they got delayed. Just before last week's update, they removed a bunch of challenges that required aeroplanes to complete them. And also, we have been seeing a bunch of these runways around the map as well. Also, this anvil launcher is actually seen in the files as well and set to return very soon. And this would make sense if we get aeroplanes as well because you can use the anvil launcher to take down aeroplanes because we know how difficult it is to bring down an aeroplane with a gun. Maligus has found a mythic version of the anvil launcher in the file as well. There are a bunch of weapons in the files that is ready to come online. We've got charge shotgun which is ready to come online very soon and also another rocket launcher, the guided missile which has not returned to Fortnite ever since chapter 1. If you don't know the guided missile, it basically works like an anvil launcher, but you can guide the missile yourself and make it go wherever you want it to go. Another boss that we have been waiting for is Luke Skywalker. So basically, Luke Skywalker is son of Darth Vader. And at the start of the trailer of season four, we saw Luke Skywalker in the background in this water tank, which is a reference from this movie right here. Now in the file, there is a mythic lightsaber, which is going to be Luke Skywalker. Walker's mythic when he arrived in the game. Maybe he's going to be a boss just like Darth Vader. Also, Luke's friend, Princess Leia, and Han Solo is coming to the game as well. Again, a flying, a rideable animal is coming to the game very soon. Fortnite has yet again updated the files. Now, this could be a collaboration with Avatar. Now, we know that Avatar is releasing in December, and we know that next season is going to take place in December. A lot of people are suggesting this might be a next season update. Also, we have seen this item right here in the files, the saddle, which basically like a grappler that grapples onto this animal. You can ride them. And again, people are still suggesting that this could be possible flying clombos. Back to the future, the Transformers and bunch of other collaborations is coming to the game very soon because Fortnite added these possible collaboration in the survey. There's a possibility we might get Doc Brown, Marty, we might even get the DeLorean in the game as well. And it would be really cool if we got the Transformers in Fortnite. And it would be cool if we had like vehicles in Fortnite that can transform into like mechs. And another huge collaboration that was mentioned was Attack on Titan. Here is a little concept that was made by 12th Hour. I mean, how cool would it be if we had like a bunch of Titans walking around the Fortnite map? And very similar Similar to Fortnite Spider-Man Mythic Weapon, we can like use these grapplers to like move around the map. A trusted source named Tom Henderson, who actually leaks a bunch of information about Fortnite's upcoming seasons, new weapons, skins. According to him, next season is going to be Chapter 3 Season 5 and not Chapter 4. Now, initially, there was a two days downtime after the live event. And we know every time there is a new chapter, Fortnite has to like change the Fortnite map. That's why we have to wait that long, like two days. That has also been corrected by him. There's only going to be 12 hours downtime and not two days. And also he revealed that there is going to be a live event at the end of this season. Now again, these henchmen, they're called Lonely Travelers. A bunch of henchmen from previous seasons, they have been traveling around the 
map and they have stopped at this spot right here. And if you look at them, it looks like they are actually waiting for someone. This guy is looking through his telescope, waving a flag as well. It feels like they're actually waiting to be rescued. Now, there is a bunch of theory. Now, people are suggesting that the last reality, the Cube Queen, is coming back because you can see one of the alien henchmen is in the group. And also, now that the Seven has been defeated, a bunch of Seven's enemies will return as well. People are suggesting that Dr. Sloan is still alive because we all know that Dr. Sloan was inside of this tank when she got crushed by the mech. And you can see an IO henchman in the group as well. Also, finally, if you look at this guy right here, this is Midas's henchman. And there has been a bunch of rumor that Midas is returning to Fortnite after he got devoured by a shark in season three. We have seen Midas's friend Meow School talk about Midas coming back. Now, I think this is the first teaser of this live event. They're all coming back possibly and I think with the help of the Cube Queen because we know that the Cube Queen has the power to break through this force field that Fortnite has around the Fortnite map and I think she's coming back so that she can team up with Harold because in the description Harold is said to be a messenger of a queen or a king. So I believe as a revenge the Cube Queen sent Harold to get rid of the Seven. Now that she has she's going to come back they're going to team up and that is all going to take place in this live event so there's another organization called the nothing has been mentioned constantly we might see this nothing or know more about this nothing in this live event as well through a bunch of quests that we know that bite is in fact working for nothing obviously the chrome is spreading around the map and it will continue to spread around until this live event if you look at this map right here you can see the chrome is moving towards the reality tree and people are suggesting that when that chrome reaches the reality tree something is going to happen and that is when the live event going to take place you can also see Harold looking at the reality tree also before it reaches the reality tree there is something that was dug up by the imagine order but nothing has really happened yes we are talking about Katus. there is no way Fortnite dug up this skeleton for nothing and now that we have seen this chrome having the ability to corrupt animals we even saw the chickens get corrupted and turn into zombies so what happens if this chrome touches this catus does this mean this catus is going to turn into this chrome monster so there is a possibility we might see this catus in this live event and also we can't forget this map called asteria in the files what does this mean is this going to be a brand new map next season because we know that in current season the map is completely destroyed covered completely in chrome the state of the map right now looks like the end of a chapter kind of map but you never know there is a possibility still that next season might be a new chapter but it looks like so far it might only be season five don't forget to leave a like subscribe and use code smjm i love you fam so peace out